This is Twit. How do we, how are we, I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Surface Duo. How are you feeling about this compared to the other dual screen phones we've seen, right? I, first of all, I want to say there's a big stripe down the middle because of the way the hinge is there. It's a really nice hands-on on the Verge. They did a, a first look at the Surface Duo. Um, you know, it is uh, not a particularly pocketable device unless you're wearing jeans that have even bigger pockets than my car hearts. Um, <laughs> You know, this this might uh, surprise people who've been listening to me complain about such things for a while now, but my initial impression of this, having not held one yet, is I like this, and I like it a lot more than right now, early days, trying to make a folding device that's just as portable as a standard phone in and around like the right. five to six inch phone range. It's not really there yet because you pretty much have to make something that's double thickness and you worry about this screen and its durability and it's a seamless experience because the screen uh, you know has to open and is is flexible this is two discrete devices essentially held together with a hinge it looks like a book it, it's basically right. that courier concept from way back when for microsoft realized because the technology has improved to this point now there's some very robust looking metal hinges at the top and bottom of this it's it's a complete screen unit on the left and right sides. There's no worry as far as I can see about the durability of the center screen. And right. it's it's about the size of like a small notebook, like a moleskin. So if, if you can right. manage one of those in your bag, this would easily fit. And then the appeal of this to me is multitasking. So you've, you've got two right. screens. And that's the problem I have with the cell phone experience, like smartphones they're they're absolutely fantastic for one task at a time. I I multitask with mine because I'm always listening to to either music or audio books. But right. to have one thing on one side and like have your email open and still be watching a YouTube video or you know doing something more productive than that, that's the dream for me with a portable device. Plus this thing just kind of <laughs> looks slick to me. And you know as as maligned as the Windows Phone experience was. This is obviously nothing like that because this is Microsoft's very mature Android platform apps running right. on an Android device. And as much I loved Windows Phone when it came out, I was a user. I, I probably stuck with it about a year longer than I should have because there really wasn't the app support that I needed at the time. Sure. But, you know, I, I would love to get my hands on one of these and, and check it out. And I'm sure there will be just like Surface is sort of the, the, the blueprint for how to construct a Microsoft like tablet device. I'm sure there will be third party Surface Duo type devices out there running these Microsoft apps. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to get my hands on one of them. It's interesting. Tom Warren wrote the 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 hands on uh, for the Verge, and one of the things he does call out because it it looks a little big, but he said. My first impression was simple. It is so much smaller in person than it appears in photos. I wasn't allowed to play around with the software on this device, but I was able to slip it into my jeans pocket, and it's definitely the first pocketable Surface device. It looks and feels like a miniature tablet that's also a phone. And it's interesting because he, he, he talked a bit with Microsoft's chief product officer, uh, Panos Panay, and you know he, he kind of disses the idea of smartphones and phablets. I don't know what these are. You know, uh, his, his goal was uh, to not call it a phone at all. Um, you know, it's, it's also interesting, uh, you know, to look at the device. It's, I, I will say, it looks like one of the smartest dual screen devices we've seen so far. The hinge is simple. They're not trying to extend the screen across the entire device. Um, very, very curious to see what the keyboard response is like when you're using the on-screen keyboard. Um, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is an interesting, an interesting choice. And and one of the things they point out is Androids, or I should say, Panay points out uh, in the interview is that uh, you know they did this because in this form factor it works. Anything bigger than this. Windows, 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 Windows. Quote, Windows is everything. So, huh. You know, you'll be able to drag and I, drop content between apps. Um, oop, go ahead. That's the, No, I'm just saying, I'm just, yeah. I'm watching this video and just, you know, it would be great. I'm sure Microsoft would have loved it if they still had a viable mobile platform. And of sure. course, if they really wanted to, they have the the resources. They have the technology. They could make this into a Windows device, but that would require 
basically starting over again. And it would require a lot of the kind of intervention they had to do to begin with to get the third party app support that they wanted, like when they wanted Instagram, when they wanted eBay, when they wanted other apps on the Windows platform. They basically had to incent those companies to do it. And then if they weren't continuing to do that for future updates, then the updates never, they were never forthcoming. Uh, That's my politically correct way of saying it. So for this to be on the Android platform and for them to be constantly updating their own Android platform and iOS platform apps makes perfect sense to me. Like you said, like how how well optimized is this? Uh, What kind of uh, keyboarding experience might it be? That's that remains to be seen. The, from the video, well, it seems it like, like the hinge is strong enough that it maintains an angle, so it might be like a little laptop if you need it to be. Be curious to see how it actually works in practice. Like, can I just hold this on one knee and and use the bottom screen for a keyboard? Or right, it's 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 interesting. The 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 pricing and ship date is pretty vague. Uh, you know, developers are going to have it on in a couple months. Uh, and he says, you know, custom, consumers will be super happy with the pricing. Quote, when I say happy, mm. I think the value of the product you get for how much you're paying, it's there. And that's what matters to customers. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've, you know, it will be next year. And this is the final okay. hardware, as near as I can tell. Um but, uh, you know, I, I think it's late 2020, but it's, you know, it's evasive enough that it could be earlier. But this apparently is final hardware, and they just want developers' time to, to make uh, apps for it. Be curious when they have some more solid information on those. <laughs> 